Hello, my name's Paul and I want to tell you about another Paul. He's sometimes called the Apostle Paul um, because he used to go about telling people about Jesus in the very early days, not that long after Jesus had lived on this earth. And often when he couldn't get to see people, he would write them letters. And a lot of those letters are now in our Bible. Sometimes he would be writing to people that he didn't know but lots of times he would be writing to his friends and sometimes he would mention them in his letters and encourage them to live the way that Jesus would want them to live and to think about how God would have them behave. And that got me thinking about how we behave and how we live and what we do and how sometimes we wish that things were different and maybe we need to just think about that a little bit. And I want to think about that with you by telling you the story of my friend Brian. Brian is a camel, as you can see. And um, Brian, obviously he was really made for the desert where he lived. He had wide feet so that he didn't sink in the sand and he could close his nostrils in sandstorms. He could store water for days in his hump. But Brian was not very happy. You see, he was bothered by flies. They were a real nuisance and upset him all the time. They flew in his eyes and ears and really got on his nerves. And he said, if only I had big ears like an elephant, then I could flick the flies away. And so he began to work on his ears. He would wiggle them and try and stretch them until at last his ears grew and grew. The other camels thought that he looked ridiculous, but he was a little bit happy. They said to him, we're not going to recognise you as a camel anymore. We're going to call you a cam elephant. Well, Brian didn't worry what they called him. Now he'd got big ears and he'd also got a trunk and that was quite useful and he could have a good time, but he still wasn't entirely happy. And he thought, I just wish that I could run if only I could run, things would be great. And he thought, if only I was like an antelope. And if only I could have the legs of an antelope. And so he thought and he thought and he began running a bit and exercising. And his legs got more and more like an antelope. And the other camels, because there weren't any cam elephants apart from Brian, laughed at him. And they said, well, you can't even be a cam elephant now. You'll have to be a cam elephant antelope. Brian really loved life being a cam elephant antelope. He could bound around, he could run, he could get where he wanted to, and he had the ears to flick away all those flies and things suddenly began to look much better. But then he thought, I would like to be able to have some different things to eat. I wish that I could catch fish. I wish that I was like a pelican. And so he thought and thought and thought about that. As he thought, his jaw began to grow and he found that actually he had got a mouth, a beak like a pelican. And so he was able to catch fish, which he enjoyed eating. And his friend said, well, now you're a camelephantilope pelican. Wow, that's a difficult name to say. But Brian was happy because he could do all the things that he wanted to, or so he thought. But, you know... Brian still wasn't entirely happy. He thought, well, I've got lots of things I can do, but I just wish I could fly really high. I just wish 
I could sing nice and prettily. He thought, I just wish I could be like a canary. And he thought and thought about that. And eventually an amazing thing happened. He grew feathers, he turned yellow, and he found that he could do those things. And so now they had to give him another new name. Brian, they said, you are a camelifantilopelicanary. Well, that was all very well, but doesn't Brian look ridiculous? And, you know, sometimes we wish that things were different and we can. And sometimes we wish we could do things that we can't. We were like someone else. But we need then to learn to be happy as we are because God loves us just as we are. God wants us just as we are. And if we think about that, then we can do the things that we ought to do. We can be the people that we ought to be. So when you think about Brian and all the things he wanted, just remember how ridiculous he ended up. And instead, be yourself, loved by God, doing what God wants you to do. God bless you. Oops. All right.